Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And if you're here for a second, third, or fourth time, thank you so much for coming back and getting creative. All right, guys, so this is going to be another fun painting for my first time painters. So grab your supplies, uh, head on over to where you have your setup, and make sure you remember to take your progress photos. Now, this painting is perfect for my first time painters. We don't need a traceable. And we're going to kind of do a simple background, and then we'll do a silhouette of balancing rocks on this one. So we're going to start with our light yellow. And I am um, using large flat brush and we're doing about an equal parts yellow and white. If you happen to have a little more yellow or white in yours, totally okay. And we're going to start with kind of the horizon line about three to four inches from the bottom of the canvas. You can place a few dots or just draw the line straight across. And then you're going to go above that, um, filling in this space with that yellow white, uh, that light yellow mixture. And it's, you know, probably about three or four inches. You can change it if you've on a bigger canvas than what I'm using. And then we're going to move into a light pink. And I actually didn't even uh, clean the brush. I just actually mixed some white and a little bit of red. And at this point, I actually realized that it was a little darker than I wanted. So I'm grabbing that direct white and just starting to mix that directly on my canvas. So we are kind of going for a light pink. And if you did what I did where it was too dark to begin with, you could just take some of that white um, and mix it directly into your pink mixture. And here you can see where I'm actually going over the yellow. I'm using light pressure. And you can see where the yellow and the pink mix. Um, they kind of create a new uh, color in between, a kind of a little light orange color. So play with that where your pink and your yellow are mixing. Light pressure, maybe a touch of water. You never want your brush dripping wet. Um, but just kind of find your comfort level. And if this is your first time painting, um, just kind of play with it. You're going to build on the skills that you're learning today. And here you can see I went back and grabbed more of that pink mixture. Um, mixing it into the lighter areas. So if you want a few shades of pink on yours, one a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, go right ahead and add what you want to your painting. And with that being said, you are more than welcome to use different colors than what I'm using. Now I'm using the light blue and that is white with a little bit of blue. And we're going to be filling in the remaining portion of the canvas top and bottom. And like I said a moment ago, you are more than welcome to use different colors um, should you want to switch anything out, go right ahead and do that. Now, no matter which colors you're using or um, if you're following along with what I've got on the video, if you have to mix your color a second or third time, don't stress about getting the exact same shade. With some of the blending and having some diversity in your color um, options, it just makes for a more intriguing canvas. So whatever you end up painting today, I want you to just embrace it. It's more important the fact that you are actually painting rather than um, not painting. <laughs> so here for that last top part, we're going with a bit of a medium blue. And that was basically just adding a little bit more blue to that light blue mixture. And now we're just going to kind of play with the whole background. And this is fully up to you. You can go back to any of the colors that you want. Um, I'm using light pressure as I kind of uh, come to the perimeter of where the white and the blue or the different colors are meeting. And again, just kind of play with this. You want to do everything that you want to your background now while the paint is still wet compared to trying to go back later and fix it or adjust anything. So you're doing a great job. And uh, uh, you've seen the places where it says pause the video, take your progress photos. Hopefully you are still doing that. And now we're going to move into the silhouette design. And I fully recommend letting your uh, paint, your background, fully dry before you move into this step. Now we are putting a bit of a mountain on both the left and right hand side of the horizon line. And just using that light pressure, um, drawing just a bit of a mountain shape, and then we're going to fill it in with the black paint. Again, full permission to change it and do something different should you choose to do that. Now, as you're painting, you may realize, especially if you're one of my first time painters, that you're holding your breath. So I want you to breathe, exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas, and that will help with your process. 
And if you need to, just laugh at yourself a little bit. This is just supposed to be a fun uh, time away from your normal routine. So since this is a balancing rock silhouette painting, I'm going to do the outline of all the rocks and they don't have to be perfect. We're just kind of getting the shapes in there and then we're going to um, fill that in and then we'll do some highlights on here. So if your rocks look different than mine. Awesome. If they look similar to the shapes that I have in there. Awesome. Like I said earlier, it's just the fact that you're actually painting and going through the process. That's the important thing about painting. All right, and if you need to, you can move down to that small pointy brush if it makes it a little bit easier to control. And um, we'll be filling it in. And you can go as high as you want on your balancing rocks, and you can have different shaped rocks. Um, if you even want to switch out colors and use something other than black, go right ahead and do that. All right, so now just filling it in. I am using student grade paint, so I'm applying this pretty thick, and my background is dry. So that way it's not mixing with the black paint um, that I'm putting on top of it. All right. And this is a painting that um, I want as you go through the process to every now and then prop your painting up, get out of your chair and look at it from a distance of five to ten feet away. This is more of a uh, vantage point that you can appreciate your artwork from. And this is the normal viewing point for most things in life and especially artwork. So as you're looking at it from that distance, if you go, you know what, I need to reshape the rock or I want to put something here, listen to your instincts and change what you are inclined to change. That is also part of the art process. All right, so any last things that you might need to add in there, um, go for it. If you want, you can let this dry before we move into the next step. I'm going to be just cleaning the brush. And I'm going to be grabbing white paint so it's going to diffuse a little bit. Um, but if you happen to let your paint dry, that's okay as well. And as we add the white paint in there, we're not going for a solid white line. We're just going to get some kind of choppy colors and uh, just kind of break up the space and add some kind of creative highlights. These wouldn't be actual highlights in real life, but just kind of a few creative highlights to break up the space. So again, just adding that white kind of on the tops of the rocks, you can kind of mimic what you see. If you end up getting too much white on there, just go back with your black paint um, and you can just paint right on top of it and diffuse it into the base. But I just like kind of doing this because like I said, it breaks up the space and draws a little bit more high contrast, draws a little bit more attention uh, to certain areas on the rock. All right, and then if you want to, I am going to move down to this uh, small pointy brush and put a few birds in the sky. If you want to add anything to your painting, go right ahead and do that. Uh, birds in the sky, you can put an airplane, you could put a paddle boarder or kayaker out there in the water. Um, again, your painting to make it what you want. So thank you guys so much for hanging out um, and getting creative. Please don't wait too long to do your next painting. And until then, cheers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of painting and I hope how you liked how your paintings turned out. I'm really proud of you for painting at home. As you're uploading your pictures to social media, please tag me at or hashtag paintwithlovejoy or email me your pictures paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really enjoy seeing those. I try to post them on social media um, and encourage other beginners and first time painters to try painting. So please share this with your community and keep getting creative. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, things you want me to paint in the future, go ahead and leave a comment and I will um, answer them as quickly as I can and try to get those new paintings um, in my production list and on the rotation. So thanks again for taking time out of your day to get creative with me. Don't wait too long to do your next one. And until then, cheers. <laughs>